Hey y'all, welcome back to Awesome Pops and Hobbies and Games. This week is the release of the latest Magic the Gathering set, Wild of Eldraine. I've got a pre-release kit and I'm going to open it here on YouTube. Check it out. This past weekend I got a chance to play my Magic pre-release for Wild of Eldraine at my local game store. I recommend everyone check out their local game store for events. Uh, for this pack, it comes with six booster packs. With all of this packaging, which includes a, a few tokens that you can use for plus one, plus one counters, for stun tokens, and for other things. I never really end up using those. I use uh, spare dice instead. So let's see what's inside the box. Inside the box for this is a specialty spin down dice that is just for the pre-release. It comes in several different colors. Easy to use for any of the tournaments. Uh, an arena code for additional packs. Um, sorter card. A promo card. Inside the promo, oh, with the promo card. You know, stamp promo card along with Specialty tokens that are used front and back. The only place to be able to get these tokens is inside these pre-release packs, which is are, are pretty nice. And then we have six booster packs. Six booster packs are all going to be draft edition packs. Uh, let's go ahead and start cracking into them. Of course, there's going to be a selection of commons. Uncommons. And rare mythics. This particular pack, S9 Antics, two blue, two colorless, sorcery that is mythic. You may cast S9 Antics as though it had flash if you pay two more to cast it. For each creature your opponent controls, create a cursed roll token, attach it to that creature. They're pair of crates. And of course, uh, promotion. Let's keep rolling. Uncommons. And this pack has the Huntsman Redemption. Huntsman Redemption. It's a saga. One green, two colorless. Create a 3 3 beast creature token. You may sacrifice a creature. If you do, search your library for a creature card, basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle. Up to two target creatures. You control, uh, actually, it's up to two target creatures. Each get plus two, plus two, until and travel until end of turn. Stab wound, foil land, mountain, and adventure token. On pack three. Some commons. Uncommons. Rare, full border, Restless Fortress. One of these specialty lands. Restless Fortress enters the battlefield tapped. It can tap to produce white or black mana. For two colorless, a white and a black, Relentless Fortress becomes a one for white and black nightmare creature until end of turn. It's still a land. Whenever Re Restless Fortress attacks, defending player loses two life, and you gain two life. Kind of an interesting card. And then Leline of Lightning. Leline card. And a token. Going on to pack number four. Spell Stutter. Going through the comments. Uncommons. Ingenious Prodigy. One blue. X colorless skulk. This creature can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Ingenious Prodigy enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Ingenious Prodigy has one or more plus one plus one counters on it, you may remove, remove a plus one plus one counter. If you do, you get to draw a card. That is some pretty spicy stuff. Impact Tremors. Island Rat. I prefer opening set boosters just because you have a chance to get that set card. What do you guys like to open more? Set boosters or draft boosters? Going through the commons. 
And then the uncommons. Another mythic card. Eret of the Charmed Apple. One black, one colorless, one white. Legendary creature, human warlock. A 2-4 creature. Each creature that's enchanted by an aura you can't you control can't attack you or planeswalkers you control. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of auras you control. It's an interesting card. I bet it will see commander play, so we'll try building it. Repercussions. Two red, one colorless. Enchantment. Whenever a creature is dealt damage, repercussion deals that much damage to that creature's controller. That's pretty cool. I can see that going on a lot of EDH decks. A foil, a swamp, and a wicked and cursed token. And the final pack. Going through the commons. Uncommons. And the rare. Apprentice's Folly. One red, one blue, two colorless. It's a saga. Part one and two. Choose target non-token creature you control that doesn't have the same t name as a token, cre token you control. Create a token that is a copy of it, except it isn't legendary. It is a reflection in addition to the other types, and it has haste. Part 3, you have to sacrifice all reflections you control. Gurk's Uprising, planes, and another token. Well, there you go. Those are the contents of a typical pre-release kits of course the, the cards that you will get will be different all the packs are kind of randomized so um let me know what you think what what do you think was the big hit from this pack and what are you looking forward to getting out of the new wilds of eldraine set hope you guys have a good one and catch you later